Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. I'm Samita Singha and this is the third part of the video. If you have not watched it, then watch the second and the first part. And I have mentioned all the ingredients which you don't need in the products. So don't skip that. Do watch the second part and let's get started. And before I forget and before you forget, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so that whenever I upload a video, you don't miss it. So let's get started. So before we start anything with the skin, first I will just put lip balm because it's very necessary and you will think what's so talking about this lip balm because I have very, very dry lips. I have tried almost every lip care you can think of and then nothing suits me. And finally this body shop one suited me so much and this is a vitamin e and it has spf 15 so basically it lasts all day and whatever the extra dead skins are there it will remove it and it will make your lips very smooth i really like it and um, i have used this uh, this company lip berry one and i have heard about this from other youtubers and i've heard from people also my friends also but this didn't work for me this was for 500 rupees and it didn't work for me and the body shop one is for 300 something it worked for me really this one was like yes didn't last all day i mean no. wasn't that effective on my lips it just felt like a normal lip balm it didn't suit me it might suit others and i bought this shia one body shop this also didn't suit me it lasted half an hour only anyways so starting with this lip balm finally my lips feel so comfortable now the time is for the toner to be honest i don't use on a regular basis toner in a week time i use it once or maybe twice not more than that i i'm i'm a lazy girl i don't do that so my favorite is this pixie one then the jensen one the body shop jensen one i really like it and the clinique one i use it it's almost empty i use it this got a little alcoholic smell to it. I mean, acetone smell. I really don't like it. And it's a little strong for my skin. Whenever I need to remove much more of makeup, then I use it. Otherwise, I don't use it. So today, I'm using this uh, Body Shop Jensen one. Pouring into the cotton pad. This clarifies your skin. So I'm using uh, eye cream because I have a sensitive eye and I have to take care of my eyes. So I'm using this uh, vitamin E body shop one and I have the cube one also, but I prefer this one. This is the best for me. Use very gentle motion. Use a tapping motion or a circular motion. I'm doing this very gently. And I've used the other products of body shop, the eye creams, and I really don't like it. It made my eyes very irritated and red. I've used other eye creams also. It never suited me. I have very sensitive eye cream. So till date, after using all this, I've finally come to the conclusion that I like this one. This is very mild and very hydrating. You can use any moisturizer after this toner or you can go for a serum but today i'm going for a serum this is the body shop drops youth concentrate <laughs> and to be honest most of the products are my body shop one because i really like it it's costly but in many months it lasts taking few drops Lightly uh, do an upward motion stroke and do a gentle nice stroke. Try to do it upwards, not downwards. Don't sag it because you want your skin to be uplifted. And I'm leaving it to get absorbed into the skin. So in meantime, as you can see this a little white patch. So let's start my real story. So what happened is um, back three, four, four, five years. Anyway, just to calculate so much. Yeah, so I was in first year of my engineering and um, I had a lot of acne or pimples you can see and um, one day I thought like let's go to a dermatologist and um, speak about it and see what solution we can come to. My friends you can see and other people also started telling me oh you have a lot of acne but for that reason I didn't go. I don't care what people say because people are going to say how much ever you're good as a person also you are, they are going to say anyways. So don't listen to them, listen to yourself. I went to the dermatologist and since you can say I was naive and the dermatologist was also not naive, inexperienced. She told me that we will do a pill within few settings. Pilling is like layering some chemical onto your face and slowly it will um, heal the acne and your skin will be fine i was like okay fine and it was around seven eight sittings and in the third one it was fine 
the fourth one when i did it started burning very badly so in that process only i told her that please stop it it's please stop it it's burning very badly then she stopped it and then it was burning and this whole area became very red and she was like uh, it will burn a little it, it will turn into a reddish kind of skin and then it will be fine within a week so i was like okay but it, when i went back in the hostel it burned so bad this area slowly started becoming very brown like a skin like you have burned and this area was also brown but not as much as this area and i couldn't sleep at night because whenever i turn around any side it's burning so badly i heal around 2 to 3 weeks and in that process i had to go to classes also and everyone was asking you what has happened to you why it's half your face is burned and i had to explain all this thing and in that process also after healing i saw a white patch it was much larger than that but now it, it has reduced a lot but in that time it didn't even cure my acne nothing happened and it was so bad it didn't work so after that i searched a good dermatologist and i came to know the recommendation of her from others also so i went to her and i told her that i have this problem and i have burned my skin from this peeling she goes like we won't do peeling i will give you medicine it will be fine and within 6 months my acne had cleared out i had full face acne and it had cleared out thanks to a good dermatologist from my real life experience what do you learn don't go to someone that is not recommended or you don't know or you have not heard from others always go to someone whom you either know or your friends know anyone know and they are good at it because if if you search online you will get recommendation you will see then you will come to know if it's good or not so now let's go to the other process so either after this i will put any of the sheet masks once in a while not every day once in a week or once in a month also or i will go with this um, sleeping mask in the night time so this is the 100 rupees one this is the 150 one So the Tony Moly, this is a hundred one, and this is a one fifty. The one fifty one is much more effective than the hundred rupees one. Actually, I can see such a difference, but the hundred one is not that effective, like physically from my naked eye. I've used this Garnier one also. This is also very nice, and the Miniso one also. This is also nice, but the Tony Moly one fifty rupees one. This Master Lab one. This all the ranges I like it. But today I'm not going to use the sheet mask. I'm using the sleeping mask. See, this is kind of jelly kind of thing. I'm taking this much, putting it on my forehead. This you have to massage it really well. While I'm massaging my face, I want to say that at from now on, from every video. at the end i will put some motivational or inspirational quote kind of thing which is written by anonymous or known people i am doing this because it's just weird that makeup thing and then why you are doing this motivational inspirational something quote you are putting it because people in the life go through something or the other you are watching my video and something good you can see at the end that might help you or that might make your day a positive day So for that purpose I'm doing it. So now my face routine is over. I will put hand moisturizer or leg moisturizer. If you live in a very um dry country or you are 24 hours in AC, try to use body butter, any body butter because if you use lotion in the dry area or in, or in the AC area, it won't last you long actually. This has happened to me when I used to live in Gulf. It was very dry and so a body butter saved my skin very much. You can get Bath and Body Works, Bath and Body Works boots, you get amazing body butter, but in India body shop is much better. So you are i buy it that if you are a person who likes moisturizer but you don't like the oiliness or almost the stickiness go for this body shop uh, yogurt one this body shop yogurt one this is very nice my mom likes it a lot but i don't like it because i always need extra kind of hydration this is good for humid weather where you need moisture in your skin uh, it doesn't feel sticky so it's nice in that kind of way so finally we are at the end of the video so thank you so much for watching and thank you for subscribing also and let me know in the comments what all videos you want to see and see you next time bye